Okay, so I figured uh, some of you might be interested in hearing a sound test to hear the difference between out emu sky switches and out emu silent sky switches. Um, so here we have two GK64Ss, um, identical in every single way, except for this one here is the normal switches, normal sky switches, 68 grams. And this one has the out emu silent sky switches, also 68 grams. Um, other than that, the keycaps are the same, just um, some plain old clear DSA and for the alphas and POM for the spacebar and mods. Okay, so let's hear the out emu normal out, out emu sky switches. All right, and then that was the normal. So let's hear what the silent sounds like. Whoops, accidentally typing on the normal one as well. So let's move it over there. Okay, so that's silent. Let's hear the normal again. And the silent. So uh, as you can hear, there is a sound difference where the silent sky switches are do have a significant, uh, significantly dampened sound. Um, and it's mainly on the upstroke, I feel like, because uh, due to the tactility of the sky switches, um, as it comes up, it actually has a pretty fast uh, bump upwards. And so if you hear the, right, the upstroke is a pretty loud click, well, the silent is much quieter. I just realized I was talking while I was doing it, so here, here we go again. So uh, the silent switches, um, well, this is in general for all silent switches, um, they have rubber pads, silicone pads, on the top, upper part and the lower part of the stem, such that the both the downstroke and the upstroke are dampened. Um, and so usually, as long as you're not bottoming out really hard, you won't hear too much of a click sound as you're going down, whether they're silent or not. Right? This is the non-silent and the downstroke is okay. It's the upstroke where you really hear the sound difference. There's a uh, pretty loud click for the normal switches while the silenced switches have a much more dampened upstroke. And there you have it.